from Hurricane Florence, and it is pummeling the Carolina coast, and its impact will extend for hundreds of miles. The center of the storm just made landfall in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Florence is packing sustained winds of 90 miles an hour. It has already dumped more than seven inches of rain in some areas, and the rainfall is likely to set records over the next few days. This slow-moving storm, and that is the problem, is expected to bring extreme devastation due to its massive size. The amount of destruction will depend on how long Florence hangs around. CBS Evening News anchor, that's Jeff Gore. There he is, standing in the elements, leading our coverage in Wilmington, North Carolina, right now. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Gail, good morning. Uh, yeah, we've hit the point where it doesn't matter what you're wearing. Gore-Tex, layers upon layers, everything is just soaked down here because this rain is just so relentless. Here in Wilmington, it is the wind and the rain, you know, it, it comes in these waves. There are times when the rain is coming in like daggers sideways, and then there are times when um, you might get a little more calm, relatively speaking. Uh, behind us, is the Cape Fear River it is just a funnel of violence. Um, it has really been moving this morning, especially when we get more of these gusts coming through. But we really are in the middle of it right now. And again, a storm that is so big, three, four hundred miles bigger than both of the Carolinas combined. That is not moving quickly. And as it stays here, and as it sits over the Carolinas, the biggest concern remains not the wind we're experiencing right now. This is not a Cat 5, it's not a Cat 3, it's a Category 1. Yes, there's strong winds. Is it going to blow down a lot of buildings? Probably not. The bigger concern is the surge for those folks, especially in some of these coastal communities. And then when you talk about that water, getting inland into some of the larger cities as it continues to pile up because, as you all know, North Carolina and the Carolinas in general already saturated. They've already dealt with a record rainfall this year. It's not easy for them. They don't want to deal with 5 or 10 inches of rain, never mind the 20 to 40 potentially that's going to come down here as Florence just sits and churns and spins before eventually moving inland, but here's another big wave gust coming in through here now. Again, we're trying to stay in an open area, one that's clear, because at times you do deal with projectiles in the middle of these hurricanes. We'll keep updating you as the morning goes on. Guys, back to you in New York. Hey, Jeff, we can tell that your speaking pattern is different. Not trying to be cute here. Is it because you're just getting pummeled with the rain? It's hard. It's, it's really preventing you from speaking the way you normally do. Is that what's happening? I'm, I'm trying to make sure you can hear me. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, we yeah, I mean, you. it's... <laughs> Go ahead. Good. Listen, Jeff. Well, I won't whisper just right now, Gail. No, I got you. Um, I got you. I got you. But I will tell you that as we move on here through the morning, Gail, um, what to watch out for is some of these uh, is the tide cycles. And as the high tide comes in, uh, a little after 11 o'clock, I believe, this morning, then that surge is going to increase even more. So that's something for a lot of folks. And you're going to be dealing with, a, I think, a few cycles here as, as the hurricane moves through. So that's certainly something to watch out for. Yeah. 